Welcome back to a new Shrine Guide video, or two Shrine Guides in this video. In this video we are going through the Shi Vanir Shrine and the Shi Vanat Shrine, also known as Twin Memories. These shrines are located in the Jeweling Peaks region, in the western Nekluda. The easiest way to reach the first of the two shrines is by starting at the Jeweling Peaks Tower. Just jump off and honestly this will be a very long trip and a very long climb. Just glide down and try to avoid all the enemies. And just walk towards that mountain. We need to find ourselves a good way to climb up. Because we have limited stamina and we don't want to fall down. Just keep walking up and eventually start climbing. As you can see I am not speeding up this video and I do that with a reason. So you can play with me while watching the video at the same time. And you don't have to pause the video every time when the video is going a little bit too fast. Just climb down and make sure you take a little bit of rest to regain your stamina in between. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up because that will help with the discoverability of this video a lot. And when you're there please also hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future content and other guides of the Legend of Zelda or other upcoming guides. And we also need more subscribers in order to grow the YouTube channel. I also stream games such as The Legend of Zelda on Twitch. Link is in the description down below. So please check it out. Just continue to climb up. It's a long way up. The fun part about this is that when you have finished these shrines, you have two more spirit orbs. Also watch the temperature, because when you come at a certain height, you are getting cold. And there are a few things you can do. Put on some clothes that help you getting warmer, that is cold resistant, or eat food that can help you getting cold resistance. Such as the spicy shimmering fruit I'm eating right now. You're really gonna need that because otherwise you might get damage and you don't want that. And when we're finally on top, there is the first shrine.
on top of the mountain here, you can get a Korok seed. But for now, we're just focusing on the shrine alone. The Shiva near shrine. The first one. Hell yeah. So, let's get in, shall we? To you who sits foot in the shrine, I am Shivanir. In the name of Goddess Ilya, I offer this trial. Twin Memories, Shivanir Shrine. The shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest the failure you will depart. What a nice riddle. So the first thing we want to do when we come up here, just go all the way up with this elevator platform just go and stand on the other side here and now get your phone out and make a picture of this view because you can see there are balls laying in holes and we need that for the second shrine now the secret treasure just walk towards the elevator and jump off Use your paraglider and go behind the wall. There's your treasure chest. Now just jump down. And now for the first time ever we're gonna leave the shrine without getting the spirit orb. But we will come back later. When out, just jump down here and there's the other shrine. Make sure you glide towards it. And that's the Shiva Nut Shrine. Let's get in here. The fun part is when we activated the shrine, it's a fast travel location, so we can fast travel back anytime you want. To you who sits foot in the shrine, I am Shivanath. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Twin memories, Shivanath Shrine. The second one. The shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. Same riddle as the other one. So yeah, they're connected. Go to the elevator again, go up. And first we go also behind the wall because there's a hidden treasure chest once again. With a nice serpentine spare inside. If you need it, take it. If not, leave it. Now, let's get back. Ooh, that's a nice one. Go stand on the other side of the platform. Also, get your phone or your camera and make a photo of this shot. Because here we see also balls in holes. But we need this solution for the other one. And here you can see the photo we made of the first shrine, of the Shivanir shrine. And we need this in order to get the balls correctly positioned. And you think, well, the shrine is mirrored, so you gotta place it mirrored also. But that's not the solution here. We need to put the balls the same way, in the same pattern, as in the photo of the other shrine of the Shi Vanir Shrine. So we got five, then three, then one, then that should be four. And the last one should be two. And if we did it correctly, the door will open. 
Et voilà The door is open. Now go inside the door. Climb the ladder. And we also always want to look behind the monk. Because sometimes, just sometimes, there might be a treasure chest there. Keep that in mind for upcoming shrines. Go stand before the monk and press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. That's the first one. May the goddess smile upon you. <laughs> well, now that we've finished this, usually the video is over, but we still have that one shrine to do, the Shivanir Shrine. So let's use fast travel and let's go there. Let's finish that one as well. Okay, now we're back. Let's get back in the shrine. And let's finish it. Alright, so as soon as we get in, we want to open the photo and do exactly the same, but then with a the photo we made in the She Venot shrine. So the first one in number two. The second one in number four. Then the next one. In number two. Then number one. First one in number five, so let's do the number five because I don't like to walk a lot. And then pick that last one up and put that in the other row in the first one. And if everything is correct, the door again will open. Walk through the door, climb the ladder. Also for this one, always check behind the monk for treasure chests. No treasure chest there, go stand before the monk and press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And that's number two, guys. That's number two. Number two of this video. Hell yeah. Spirit orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. Once again. May the goddess smile upon you. <laughs> Well done, two more shrines done. Was it easy or was it difficult? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really, really wondering what you guys thought of it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hopefully see you all next week in a new Shrine Guide video. Guys, everyone, thank you for watching. See ya.